Thank you, Your Excellency, for that terrific call to action. The call to action is now. Um, okay, so I'm pleased now to invite our three speakers, our next three speakers for the, the next part of our session. Uh, they're going to launch a new tool for business. It's called the SDG Compass. So please join me here on stage, Ms. Lisa Kingo, the Executive Director of the UN Global Compact, Mr. Peter Backer, the President and CEO of the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, and Mr. Michael Heehan, Meehan, excuse me, the CEO of the Global Reporting Initiative. I will let you take the stage now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here with you um, this afternoon. And I welcome you to the private sector forum that it's a great pleasure for us to host. Um, I'm new in the role as the head of the Global Compact. I have been in office for three weeks, and I can assure you that this old saying of hitting the ground running have got completely new meaning for me now. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, this is such a historic moment. And for those of us that have been part of the sustainability agenda for many years, it's just completely amazing that yesterday we had the world community agree to a fabulous document, to a wonderful set of goals that I'm sure will provide a very clear lighthouse for where development needs to happen in the world for the next 15 years. If we think about that back at the UN Rio conference in 92, where businesses were sort of officially involved for the first time, I think that many of us that were there could hardly spell sustainable development and neither was exactly sure what it meant. So the development that has happened since that time has been amazing and I think the clarity and the direction we are now having with the new sustainability goals is just amazing. I think from a business perspective, representing more than 12,000 companies that are signatories of the Global Compact, it's always great for the business community to know exactly what the long-term plan is and what the priorities are in order to be sure that investments are made in the right technologies and in the right new themes. So with the new goals, we have also got a new platform for innovation and for growth. And we also have a wonderful opportunity in business to turn risks into opportunities. So there's a lot of positive things to say about the goals, and now we have them here. Before we go into talking about how we should then implement them, let me just say a few words about the, fundam the, the fundamental issues of running a responsible business. In the joy of having the goals, let's still remember the 10 principles of the Global Compact, and that companies have to focus on environment, on human rights, on anti-corruption, on social responsibility. That is still a very important foundation for being a solid, responsible company. But anyway, now the new goals are here. They are adopted. The Pope has left. We are, down, <laughs> we are down to serious business. We have to begin to do something about it. And in that process, I think it has been very positive that in the process of putting together the SDGs and the multi-dialogue that has happened for the last two to three years, the organizations that we are representing up here today have had an opportunity to get business input during the process. And I think at least 1,500, 2,000 companies have provided input to the targets um, 
as they, as they are looking today. But of course, there are many companies that are not as advanced as those of you in the room today. And we have a very important role in already now beginning to translate what the goals could mean and how it could be possible to work with them in a simple way where it doesn't become too overwhelming, both to have to address the 10 principles and select among the 17 goals. So already back in 2013, the GRI, the World Business Council, and the Global Compact began to discuss how we could already now begin to prepare a useful tool that would, that would be ready for business already the day after the goals were adopted. So um, what our plan is this morning is to present you with the new Sustainable Development Goal Compass that is meant as a very practical guide for companies. We, of course, hope that you as lead companies and front runners on the sustainability agenda will take the opportunity to be the first to test this tool, provide us with feedback, share it with other companies, because what we really want in the future is to have concrete examples of how companies have succeeded in using the new goals as inspiration, as innovation platform for running an even better business. And we would like to see the faces of the next generation sustainability leaders in the world that are really integrating the new SDs into running their very successful businesses. And with these words, I would like to hand over to Peter Bagger from the World Business Council to give you a bit more insight to the new SDG Compass. Please give Peter a warm hand.